Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can add books to a wish list that someone, yourself or someone else, can add to your affiliates uh, section if you want to make money by referring books or products on Amazon. So the first thing you need to do is create a wish list. So I've just created one called Vision Boards, but you can create this really easily. So I'm going to select Vision Boards. And then there it is, one item added to vision boards. And if you click on it, there is the book. And then later on, you can add to cart if you want to. So I'm going to show you the back end of Amazon Store. Affiliate uh, program, I think this is it. And I'm going to click on Vanessa. Hopefully, that's my password. Click. Ha, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm going to type in two chairs. It's really easy to create. Once you've got a website, I should say, it's really easy to create an Amazon affiliates account. Hit me up if you need me to set it up for you. So what you do is you click the little down arrow next to get link, Ooh, this one, and then you copy in the link and then what I do is I load up the um, listing on Amazon, public Amazon and then I select the photo and then I add the image and link it to that link that was generated. I'll show you more about that later. It basically, it's an easy way for you to have a shopping list or a wish list of books um, related to a project. So it could be vision boards, it could be fashion, it could be whatever you want. You can have several different wish lists for different websites. So for me, um, I do a blog, a food blog, and I do cookbooks. So I do a search in Associates for, let's just say, Gluten free. So I'm predominantly gluten free. I, every now and then I cheat and then I pay for it, but that's another subject. So, and I'm going to put um, books and search. And there we go. Cook once, eat all week, 26 weeks of gluten free, affordable meals. You can click get link instead of the drop down arrow. And then it gives you text and image, text only and image only. And then you just highlight the HTML, copy, and then you paste that into the website. But um, WordPress doesn't really like iframes. It looks pretty, it looks you know, much nicer, but it doesn't really like iframes, so I do not use that. Um, you can do the image only, which is, um, it's an image and it's linked, it says, a, which means a link, reference, which means the website that it wants to go to, and then the images. But I like to do it myself, because then I upload the image to my page and I can use it for other purposes. So yeah, so that's the first start, uh, first step <laughs> in creating a shopping list or wish list on Amazon, and then getting the code, and then after that you add it to your page or you get your developer. So um, the next stage is um, going to your list. Um, where is it? Uh, wish list. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, his manners. Going to your wish vision boards wish list or whatever wish list you've got. And then you invite your geek at, like me, or your geek, or your friend, or your family member, or even yourself, if you've got more than one account, and you click invite by email. Come on, invite by email. Okay, fine, it's not doing it, copy link. Then you paste that link into an email, or into a messenger, or message, and then the other person, 
will um, receive a notification and then they can see your wish list if they accept it. So, yeah. So I've copied the link. I'll try one more time to do invite by email. No, it doesn't want to work. What about if I open link in your tab? That might do it. Nope. Send this to others. Here we go. You and edit. And there, yeah, so you can do it two ways. Okay, so that's the first step and I'll continue with the second step in a moment.